What is up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another quick and easy video. In today's video, we wanna learn how to create expression controllers inside of After Effects. In this case, in the example that I have on screen, it's a color controller. User bubbles right here, we can change the color to black in this case, or a dark color. We can change max bubbles to uh, pink-ish. We can also change the text. It's super simple and super easy. We will also learn how to create expression sliders to control things like the opacity, et cetera, et cetera. And before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell for all future updates on videos. You can also check out our Discord community, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon, which will all be linked down below. Let's get started. So as you can see here, I have a base project file opened up in After Effects. It's just two simple circles with strokes. And we wanna make it where we can change the color and change the opacity. First things first, inside of your layer panel, you wanna right click, go to new adjustment layer. And let's right click this, rename, and call it controller. Now click controller and then go to effect controls. If you don't see effect controls, just drop down your window, find effect controls, and open it up. Now what we can do is actually right click inside of effect controls and then go to expression controls. Let's do color controller. Do it one more time to do color controller and one more time to do a slider control to control the opacity later. Next up, we wanna find our shape layers. Let's drop down on contents, ellipse, stroke, and fill. Now re-click controller and then lock the effect controls so it stays on screen when we leave the layer. Go back to shape layer two and then grab one of these squigglies right here. If you don't see the squiggly, it's really simple. Just right click in this gray bar area next to layer name, right click columns and then parent and link. It'll turn that on for you. Now drag this color squiggly for the ellipse, what is this, stroke. And let's put it on the first color. Take the fill and put it on the second color right here. Same thing for shape layer one, ellipse, stroke, and uh, fill. Grab the squiggly for the stroke, go to the first color. Uh, next uh, squiggly, go to the second color for the fill. Now you could name these up here, stroke and fill. I just left it at the base. Next, what we wanna do is actually open up the opacity for each layer and do the same thing. Grab the squiggly, put it on the slider. Grab the squiggly, put it on the slider. And up, oh, the shapes are gone. But as you can see, the slider is set to zero. So if we set this to 75, you can see that the shapes will come back. They're at 75% opacity. We can also change the color. So let's grab this. It'll, this will change the stroke. And this will change the color of the shapes. And that is how you quickly set up an expression controller inside of After Effects. Now, I know for much more advanced projects, this can be much more complicated with many more layers. Just make sure that your color controller is your top layer in the project. It kind of sources down like a pyramid to all the bottom layers, compositions, etc., like that. So the color controller never actually messes up. And that's it for today. I hope this was helpful. As always, guys, I'm Max. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a part of the channel. If you are new to the channel, feel free to like and subscribe. Other than that, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.